In this video, I'm going to give you my top 10 shaving soap scents of 2020. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I'm ready today to kick off the list season. And yes, you heard it here first. We're starting with the list. I was talking to Junior, the dude of shaving, the other day. And he was saying, these lists are going to come out soon. And I'm like, oh, I've already shot some of mine. <laughs> so uh, let's just get on with it. Today, my top 10 shaving soap scents of 2020. Now, there are a few rules that I threw in here. One, I had either these had to be released in 2020 or I discovered them in 2020. The second rule being these soaps are not a one and done situation, meaning just one special run. Uh, and they'll never make them again. All of these soaps, you will probably be able to get at one time or another. Seasonals were allowed, but one and dones were not allowed. So let's kick it off with num number 10, and we're going to work our way all the way down to number one, which is my favorite. Keep in mind, when I say top scents, these are ones that brought me the most joy. These are ones that I really love to sniff, and just ones that I felt to be remarkable this year. So we start off with number 10, which was actually a tie. There was there was no way that I could cut one of these out. Um, and it is Hub City Morning Hike and Noble Otter Firefighter. And the reason there was a tie on this one is I'm not exactly sure on the availability of Firefighter. It was up on the website leading me to believe maybe they'll make more. I hope they make more because it's a great scent, but I wasn't sure. So that's where the tie come in. So let's start with Noble Otter Firefighter. As you know, Great labels. Now, to be honest, Noble Otter is in my no no fly zone in terms of uh, no flyer zone, I should say. I will not buy Noble Otter soap without smelling a sample first. Fortunately, Marion the Barbarian gifted me this soap and I absolutely love it. It is a beautiful woodsy, grapefruit, cedar sort of accord. You get some citrus pop. It's des described as a, uh, I think as an aquatic scent, but to me, it's more woodsy with a little bit of citrus, maybe a little bit of lavender in there. Really beautiful soap, great quality. Noble Otter as a brand puts out terrific labels, terrific soaps. I just don't always love their scents, and so I have to buy a sample, but this one was a home run for me. Uh, and of course, tied at number 10 also, Hub City Morning Hike. This one is, whew, it pops. It really, really pops. As soon as you open this, it's like, boom, it's like right in your face, that fresh, Think about walking through the woods in, on a brisk morning. Uh, sage, grapefruit, uh, orange, lavender. Beautiful scent from Hub City. So there is your tie at number 10. I won't do that anymore throughout the list, I promise. So coming up next was a seasonal from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Irish Springs. And what does it smell like? Irish Spring Bar Soap. So if you love Irish Spring Bar Soap, as I do, a lot of us have used that for many years and we reflect back on it fondly. Maybe the first time we smelled it, we were a kid. This one is just awesome. Great scent strength. And again, it's a green scent. It smells just like Irish Spring. And this will probably be available again in the spring because he tends to bring it out every year. Really beautiful soap, Irish Springs by PAA. Coming up next, we have Sterling Boat Drinks. Now, I realize you can't get this one right now. The only reason you cannot get this soap right now is because Ster um, Rod at Sterling is unable to get the scenting oils. He has committed to making this soap again when he can get the scenting oils. Because of the Rona and everything, he just has not been able to get this, the oils to recreate this soap. But if he's able to get those again, he will produce it again. This one, <sighs> it's so good. It just reminds you of a, a tropical drink, maybe. It's got banana, coconut rum tangerine it's i don't know it almost comes off in, in some ways chocolatey but you get the banana you get the it, it's got a little bit of everything really dark in color um absolutely awesome this was gifted to me by a viewer so thank you sir really excellent scent again this is sterling boat drinks at number eight original scent from sterling uh coming in at number seven murphy and mcneil barbershop Del Los Muertos. This is the number one of that series. Whoo! Beautiful, beautiful, nice stout scent on this one. Uh, I can't recall the notes on it, but I did write it down, so let me look there. I apologize for looking down. This is based on Homage 25 for men. You get some citrus in this. You get some musky notes, a little bit woodsy. As soon as I smelled this, I was like, this is a great Scent. And this was a collaboration between, of course, Chicano Designs, 
uh, Murphy and McNeil, John Perry, beautiful soap by Murphy and McNeil. This is BDLM1, really terrific. Coming up next, we have a soap that got a lot of attention this year. <laughs> this is Moon Soaps Amaretto, and I just discovered this in 2020. It may have been around prior, prior to 2020. I'm not sure, but man, this think of this as like Cella on steroids. Beautiful almond, marzipan, um, cherry-ish scent, good scent strength. Sort of reminds you of a, maybe an almond pastry or something. Almost everybody who's tried this likes it. So if you like cherry, if you like almond, marzipan, oh man, you just can't beat this one. This is an excellent scent. And of course, this one comes in at number six, uh, Moon Soaps Amaretto. Working our way through the list here, we come to number five. And at number five, we have Ariana and Evans Peaches and Cognac. Now I realize some people probably thought this one would come in even higher, but there's, there's just so many great soaps that this one flies in at number five. <sighs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Peach and Cognac. I mean, that's what it smells like. It's got the peach. It's got a little bit of that dark rounding in the Cognac. I know some people said they couldn't pick up the Cognac, but to me, this is not just straight up. I do pick up the Cognac. Ariane and Evans really did some excellent things in uh, 2020. We'll see them again in the list here. But anyway, um, excellent soap. Peaches and Cognac coming in at number five. Coming up next, we have at number four, Strike Gold Shave, and this is Honest Abe. This is an awesome citrus punch uh, in the face. It's based on the Ultra Zest cologne. You have tangerine, you have orange, you have ginger, um, vanilla. This is a, this is, actually all of these scents are my favorites, obviously, but this one, every time I smell it, it's just like, oh, it's so good. <laughs> so if you get a chance to get your hands on uh, Honest Abe from Strike Gold Shave, Grab it. Great soap quality. Great scent. I absolutely love it. Coming up next, we have Awesome Sauce by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And look at that handsome guy right there. It might look a little like me. Um, a lot of people probably would imagine I would put this one at number one. But, but there was two scents that this couldn't eclipse. Eclipse, excuse me. The reason why I love this scent is not because my, my face is on it. It's because it smells like Parazzo Green. Aftershave, not the soap. It is a green scent. You get that eucalyptus. <sighs> but it, it smells, for, for me, the aftershave more like a, what we would call a green traditional Italian barbershop scent, which is absolutely beautiful. Douglas nailed this soap. I asked him to make this quite a few times. He got it done this year, and he absolutely nailed it. It is a fantastic soap. It's got some menthol in it, but the menthol really doesn't impact the scent that much. I absolutely love this. This comes in at number three, PAA Awesome Sauce, and it is <laughs> awesome. Coming in at number two, this one could not be ignored. Gentleman's Nods, collaborations with Zaharoff, uh, Signature. What can I say about this one? <sighs> Honestly, on paper, if I would have just looked at the notes of this soap, I wouldn't think I would like it, because it's got so much stuff in it. It's got almost everything in it. But the way it comes together, elegant, Classy. This is definitely one of those scents where I can see using it for a formal occasion. But honestly, I'll use it anytime because I'm inappropriate that way. It is just such a wonderful... This is one of the best scents I have ever smelled. You can tell it's a professionally done scent. Again, Gentleman's Nods, collaboration with George Zaharoff. Zaharoff Signature. Beautiful, beautiful scent. And last but not least, can you guess what this one is? This one is probably going to surprise some people. This, for me, was really my favorite scent of 2020. The Undersea by Ariana and Evans. Worst label of 2020. Best scent. <laughs> Every time I smell this one, I'm just like, oh, it's so good. Because I like aquatic scents. And this one is like a, I would call it a citrus aquatic. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> You've got grapefruit. You have bergamot. You have, ah, I don't even know what all. Some amber. The marine notes for that aqua. And it just comes across so nice, and it's got some good pop to it. Um, and you use the splash, and it just... Oh. This scent, for me, for my preference, is the best scent that Peter Charcalis from Ariana and Evans has ever created. It is also the worst label that he has collaborated on. But we can look over this crazy label because the scent 
is so good. Now, I know there are people like So Sharp David who they hated this label so much that they got rid of the soap, but not me. Because this soap, honestly, it's just outstanding. And again, understanding that preference in art is always subjective. And this just for me was like, you know, it, it wasn't for me. But the scent was so good. It just could not be ignored. Still available at Ariana and Evans. If you like aquatic and the idea of a citrus and aquatic scent um, sort of uh, appeals to you, this is a great one. And I'm ranking it at number one just because I liked it so much. And actually, when I was visiting my mom, uh, she loved it too. And so that kind of sealed the deal <laughs> for me. Really great scent. So thanks, everybody, for uh, allowing me to share my list with you. With you, Let me ask you, what do you think of my selections here? Give me yours below. I'm interested to know what, uh, what you really enjoyed this year. And uh, we're so fortunate to have been able to try all these soaps this year. I, I just feel blessed beyond belief. And I hope that you're doing well. And I hope you're enjoying these fantastic scents. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.